Excellent. So, hey, I want to welcome everybody to tonight's uh, webinar training. We have a special guest. This special guest, ladies and gentlemen, has 16 years. 16. We all know that number, right? Sweet 16, that number where you get your license. You know, uh, 16 years experience doing CPA marketing. Actually, uh, prior to this particular webinar, owned his own CPA network currently has a private CPA network that spends upwards of a hundred thousand dollars a week on traffic hey that's pretty good if you ask me learning from somebody that has a network that's spending a hundred thousand dollars per week in traffic this gentleman also um, also he has earned in a time frame of six months in excess of four hundred and fifty thousand dollars now before I even bring him out, let me make an income disclaimer because your results may vary. You know, his results are his results, and, you know, hey, we can't guarantee any level of income. So just thought I would put that out there. Another thing, because our special guest does CPA marketing, he's a master at it, he's not necessarily your webinar type of guy. So I had to twist his wrist to get him out here. So he says, Jacques, if I stumble and fumble, Hopefully you guys won't be upset with me. So, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you're kind to him. Just make sure that you're kind. So, without further ado, because you know me, I can keep going on and on and on. Let me introduce to you my friend and business associate, north of the border, Mr. Joey Babino. Joey Babino, are you there, my friend? Can you hear me pretty good? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> so, uh, real quick, Joey, let me just pass you over the screen. And then, man, we can rock and roll here. Let me see. Make a uh, presenter. So there we go. Yes. And let me know when you have it. Okay. Got it. So okay. now I believe everyone can see my screen, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Your screen. So, excellent. All right. Here we go. There we go. How's All that right. look? Uh, looks pretty good. Let me check with our audience. Uh, audience, can you hear Joy's voice? As well as as well as see his screen, if you can, uh, just say yes for me real quick in the chat box. Cool, cool, cool. I see. Yes, 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 yes. Joy, my friend, it's time to rock and roll. The show is okay. yours. Chuck, I can't see any uh, any people chatting in the chat box. Is there something I need to push here, or I can say hi? But I uh... um, hold on. Let's see. Nah, it, it actually should show you, but um, okay. well, I'll monitor maybe, it for you. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'll monitor it for you. Great. Well, hello, everybody. Thank you uh, for having me, Jacques. Yeah, this is great. Uh, like you said, I haven't done it. I have actually have never done a webinar, so this is going to be my first webinar, and actually did a lot of twisting, okay? Because uh, a lot of people asked, and I, I actually, uh, you are the only guy that I did a webinar for, so... Uh, this is great. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm here, and this gives me good practice. Uh, and like you said, I do a lot of uh, CPA, so I'm not into webinars. But uh, moving forward, maybe uh, if this one goes well, we'll try it again. You can all still hear me? Yep, we can hear you loud and clear. Sound good. Okay. So I guess the first thing I wanted to do is just maybe uh, ask the audience just to get a feel as to what uh, what, what, what kind of uh, audience we have here, and so that I know a little more on how I should. Uh, present some of the, the points that are going on. So the first question I, I wanted to ask the audience was uh, what kind of experience you have? And, and if we can just type in zero, never tried CPA marketing. One, tried it, didn't profit. Two, tried it, making money. Please okay, type so it in then, the box. All right, so let's see what we have. So zero is never tried it. One is tried it, didn't make money. Two is tried it, made money. So let me see. I see one. I see beginner. I see zero, one. I see never tried it. I see two. Then I see zero, 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 zero. Then I see one beginner, zero, two. Okay. I get the point. I get the point. Okay. We're good then. So this is good because the content that I've put together is based on the zero, one crowd, but I also can definitely fill into the. The people that are trying, making money, and probably looking for some new ideas. So it's all going to fit. This is great. Uh, another question I wanted to ask. Uh, currently, uh, obviously, some people here are 
doing something else. Maybe they're not doing CPA, maybe they're doing SEO, maybe they're doing uh, blogging or anything else that they're doing online. Uh, I'm wondering uh, out of zero, one and two, so let's go to zero, I make less than $500 a month online. One, I make more than $1,000 a month online. Two, I make more than 5000 online a month. Okay, so uh, let's repeat that, ladies and gentlemen. So zero, what, well, let's see, two was I make more than $5,000 a month. One was I make more than, more than 1, yeah, 1000 and zero, I make less than 500 a month. All right, so I see zero, 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 zero. I see one. I see zero, zero, zero. Man, I see so many zeros. Like man, it's oh, yeah. making me dizzy. Yeah. So <laughs> we definitely got some people on here that want to increase their income, and so this is going to bring me to my next slide. But uh, uh, and after that, we'll go on. So my next slide is obviously what you've already covered, which is the legal disclaimer about earnings. Uh, I can't claim that you're, you will experience the same success. But I'm definitely going to try and give you all the, the knowledge that I have and uh, express as much information as I can in the next slides. But understand that this is a business and it's online, so things can go up and down. So anyway, that's my legal disclaimer, and we'll get that out of the way, and then we'll move forward. So in today's uh, webinar, I want to cover eight goals, okay? So today... We're going to cover these eight over on the side. I'm just going to try and move the screen over uh, a little bit here because something cover my way. Okay, so the first one is understand the true potential of CPA, which is uh, CPA performance marketing. I missed the word marketing there. Uh, learn what it is, how to find converting offers. Uh, we're going to talk about CPA networks and what you need to know. I'm going to show you campaigns that actually made me thousands a day in the last few years and how to select top offers and what the biggest niches are. I'm also going to talk about how to get targeted traffic from free methods and how to get converting, high converting traffic from paid methods. And then we're going to talk about a few uh, campaign setup tips and then ultimately I'm going to finish with the uh, the highest, uh, like, by the way, I actually skipped the slide there, but it's going to be um, the ultimate king of traffic, which is going to be the grand finale. I'm going to talk about that in a little more detail at the end of this presentation. So please stick around, but we'll go through all these other points and then we'll keep, we'll keep going forward. Okay, so let's move ahead. Uh, so uh, first thing I want to talk about is understanding the true potential of performance marketing. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm not showing this to brag or show off or anything like that, but I just want to give you guys the, uh, the idea of how much money can be made with CPA marketing, okay? Um, and when I look at my own numbers, I always strive to get higher numbers and because I know what the true potential is. And even the ones, that, the numbers I'm going to show you right now, um, they seem to be... When I look at other guys, they're 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 lower than, than a lot of people I know. So um, this is one of the videos I put together just to show some proof uh, of income. Um, and again, it's not to show off, but I just want to show you what, what what's going on here. Hey, Joy, is it playing? Because we can't hear it. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Well, um, let me share my screen. So you guys can't hear that, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I think what you may have to do, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our audience can't hear it. You, you'll probably just have to grab the YouTube, YouTube link and just po post that in a different browser page, and then, then, okay. then it should show up. Okay, or I could just explain it, I guess, if it doesn't work that way, but uh, let's do that then. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> there's your first newbie guy that does webinars. Uh, mistake, okay? So yeah, that's just the way it goes, I guess. Uh, let's see here. My channel. Okay, so here it is. Maybe if you can hear it now. Can you hear that? Hello? Nope. If you didn't hear this, what it's saying right now? Let me see. Um, yep, they typed in, nope. Yep, not, not okay. Here. All right, well, let's, let's just go back. Anyway, the video was showing me logging into a few CPA networks that I'm actually currently running right now, okay? Um, and 
basically what it's showing is for the last six months, it's that, that number that you had quoted earlier, the 400 and something thousand in revenue. Uh, then I log into a couple others. So it's showing the potential as to what the numbers can actually be, okay? And that's, that, that was the point I was trying to make there, that there is a lot of protection on CPA performance marketing. It's very scalable. So it's something that you definitely have to look at and try. Does that make sense now? Okay. Yep. All right. So a little bit about myself. So I, like you said uh, earlier, Chuck, I owned a, C, uh, a successful CPA network. I actually sold this CPA network and it's still currently running now, uh, now today. Uh, I've also created three top selling courses in the past on CPA affiliate marketing. They're all uh, top sellers of the day on Warrior Forum and JD Zoo. Um, spent more than one million on advertising this year alone for uh, affiliate products. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, and I also work closely with others to help build large CPA affiliate businesses. And as you said before, I've been in this industry for 16 years. Uh, I haven't been doing CPA for 16 years. I've only been doing CPA for 10 years. For the first six years, I uh, dabbled in a lot of different things, but uh, I'm glad that I took the route of CPA. So moving on, what exactly is CPA affiliate marketing? So it's often called performance marketing because you're basically working on performance. You're sending traffic, whether it's free traffic or paid traffic, to a particular offer, and you're getting paid if somebody takes a particular action. That's why they call it CPA. So you're getting paid on a cost per acquisition or a cost per action. Um, cost per acquisition or cost per action basically mean the same thing in this industry. Um, for example, if I if I'm an advertiser and I own a product and I want somebody to enter an email into my web form, I may pay you a dollar for every person that you get to enter an email into my web form. So that would be, uh, I'd pay you for every action that happens on that, on that um, particular action. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I wanted to kind of break down what advertisers, networks, and affiliates are. Um, basically, the advertiser is the person or a company that actually owns the offer. Um, this could be anything from a diet product to a skin uh, cream to a uh, insurance company, uh, auto loans, any, any, uh, any of these companies are actually called advertisers or merchants. Um, it's the same as any other affiliate program really, they're called uh, but in the industry of uh, CPA and any networks we talk to about and talk, uh, talking about these people as advertisers. Then in between you have the networks. The networks basically take all the uh, a compilation of advertisers all within their network so that they have a bunch of different offers within their network that affiliates can run. So affiliates like, um, like myself, I would join a network and I would go in there because I get a broad spectrum of offers that I can choose from that are all from different advertisers. Now, I could also work directly with advertisers if I chose to, um, but there are some added risks, well, which, well, which I will talk about on the next slide. But these are basically the three main players in the CPA, advertisers, networks, and affiliates. So when you go into your CPA network and you join a CPA network, um, there are certain offers that you can choose from. They're a lot different than if you were to go into ClickBank or uh, Amazon or anything like that because these are typical uh, these offers that you you see in this are actually based on actions uh, more so than sales so you get paid for somebody to install a mobile app or to enter an email into a form or to fill out a long form you would get paid for that and you don't actually have to sell any products which makes this industry very attractive for people with a lot of traffic um, another thing, um, uh, uh, one of the most popular offers, I guess, right now is the trial offers, which uh, you'll see pretty much on every website uh, that you go on these days. If you go on CNN or any other website, you'll see trial offers for skincare, for muscle performance, for diet, and those are also available through the CPA networks. These are the types of offers where it might cost the consumer four dollars, but you get paid forty dollars on on that sale. So all these types of offers are within the CPA networks. 
Um, oh, sorry. Let's go back. <laughs> Getting paid is uh, obviously what we want to know. Uh, how we get paid and where the money comes from. So basically the money is coming from the advertisers, they're paying the networks who are again paying you. Or if you bypass the network, you can get money from the advertisers. Um, I'm not recommending anyone go direct to the advertisers right now until you uh, get some more experienced because the networks are gonna, like, are gonna protect you from bad advertisers. And we'll get into that in a few minutes. Um, so anyway, the money flows from the network and the network most networks nowadays will pay you weekly. If you, if you can send job and can get conversions, if you ask your network that you want to be paid weekly, you will be paid weekly. That's, the, that's just the standard rate nowadays. Uh, <coughs> a lot of the terms that you'll hear within the CPA network are you know, CPA, which is cost per acquisition that we just talked about, CPS, which means cost per sale. So that's if you're actually selling something uh, for $40, uh, let's say you're selling a flashlight for $40, um, you're going to be paid out cost per sale. So if it's costing $40 for the consumer, you may get $50 or $60 back. I know it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense why advertisers would pay you more than they're actually getting, but a lot of the times they do that because the value of the customer to them is a lot more. Uh, CPL is the cost per lead, so this is people um, companies uh, paying you for leads. So um, these are very highly attractive offers that can pay up to $15 to $20 just for somebody to fill out a form online. And most of the time it's for uh, insurance or auto loans or uh, anything uh, in the financial area. Uh, usually cost per lead works out very well for affiliates. And lastly, cost per click. You can get a pay per click that you send to the offers. Um, these are rare, but they're, they're out there, and, and you can get paid per click. So if you're paying 10 cents a click and the offer's paying 15 cents a click, then you're going to make a lot of money back on, on those clicks. Uh, lastly, one of the biggest words in, uh, in the industry is EPC, or the biggest acronym, I guess, uh, earnings per click. This is how much you make uh, when you're promoting the offer. Um, if you're paying uh, $100 for 100 clicks or a dollar a click, you want to make sure that you're earning more than a dollar a click. Um, uh, actually, just recently, yesterday, I was uh, testing an offer. It was a diet offer. <coughs> I was running it. Um, I was making 13 cents per click on the offer, direct linking, and I was paying 11 cents a click. So that works out. I know it's only two cents, but when you're sending a thousand clicks, that works out pretty good. So um, anyway, so that's a little bit about CPA affiliate marketing. Uh, again, we'll have a lot of questions and answers at the end. If I missed things or if I said things that don't make sense, please ask us at the end. So I'm going to go into CPA networks. <clears throat> Just taking a drink of water. <laughs> Okay, so CPA networks, uh, like Jacques had mentioned, I, I actually owned a CPA network uh, for over five years. Ran it successfully, uh, loved it, it's great. You can see a lot of stuff when you're running a network. But again, <clears throat> there's a lot of risk in the CPA network industry. Um, you're dealing directly with advertisers when you're the CPA network owner. So you have a bunch of affiliates working under you and you want to make sure they get paid. And if the advertiser decides not to pay you, you still pay the, the affiliates. That's a good network. Um, but there's a lot of networks out there that don't pay. So you have to be extremely careful when you choose a CPA network. And I know the biggest question on most people's minds is how do I get accepted to a, a CPA network? But the most important thing you should think about is what CPA network should I work with? And if you're, if you're good and you're professional and you talk to the people, you're not going to be rejected. You're going to be accepted. Um, <laughs> you just have to meet somebody or talk to somebody that works in there, a family manager, and get your application approved. And I can, I can talk about that quickly on that uh, in the question and answer. But it's very simple to get accepted. The, the, the key is picking a network that's going to pay you. And you have to avoid the biggest syndrome, which I'm going to talk about right now, and that is the number one network in the world mentality. If you go online and you look on any Facebook page or a CPA network, 
probably the majority of them are going to call themselves the number one network in the world. Okay, that's just the way they talk. But really, they're not. <laughs> like, there's only a few that are top networks in the world. So you have to be careful. I mean, even the biggest networks in the world have crashed and burned. And that's just the reality of, of this. So you have to be careful. You have to spread your wealth through a few networks, and every now and then work direct if that's the best business model for you. Because you're working direct gets you a bigger payout, but at the same time you're taking a bigger risk. Most of these networks are built to absorb the fact that they're going to lose money from advertisers that don't pay. So they'll still pay you even though they don't get paid. <coughs> And that's what I was going to talk about next. Working directly with the CPA affiliate network as opposed to working with the advertiser directly. Now, a lot of companies that are big and, and strong, you know their brand, you know that you can work with their affiliate program directly and you're going, you're going to get paid. But most of the time, it's better to work with a network. And that's why I highly recommend for anybody new in this industry to work with a CPA network and choose one of the top CPA networks out there. So I just want to talk a couple of sinkholes and landmines that I experienced in 2015 uh, when I was still running the network. Um, and this isn't any reason why I sold it, but it, it's just funny that I, I, I thought I'd bring it up. That most times the affiliates have no idea on the uh, on the other end as to the, the problems going on inside of a network in terms of getting paid from their advertisers. So these are things that you should be aware of going into the industry. That sometimes advertisers don't pay the networks, but networks will never tell you. They just pay you anyway, which is great. That's why we want to choose to work with the network. But in the in the past, I've actually been burned several times working directly with advertisers. And one in particular um, was an advertiser for a diet trial offering. I don't know if anybody knows uh, this, but in the last years, trial diet offers in the United States have been under a lot of scrutiny with the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, and when the Federal Trade Commission comes after an advertiser for, for bad advertising, they pretty much lock all their funds and everything is locked. And if you if that advertiser owes you a bunch of money, um, you're not going to get paid. That's just the bottom line. You might get paid later on down the road when the funds are released, but that doesn't help the affiliates running the offers at that, that point in time. So that was just kind of an example is when people um, don't advertise properly and they use you know shady methods, then everybody hurts. And at the end of the day, um, the bottom line is you want to get paid. So these are just things to be aware of. So um, anyway, I thought I'd bring that story up. So where to apply and how to get how to get approved? Where would you apply, right? Um, there's a lot of CPA networks out there. Everybody calls themselves the biggest network. So um, I guess the best place to go, and I'm trying to. Get, I'm, Trying to figure out how to share my screen here now. Um, can, okay, I guess you can see my screen here. Just one second here. Everybody still there? Yep, we're still here. <laughs> All right, good. So, one of the best places you can go is called Everything. <clears throat> this place, uh, top 20 networks. Let's just go here for a second here. Top 20 networks. I guess it's uh, it's been a while. Okay, one sec. Best CPA networks in 2016, right? So here you go. Here's some of the top CPA networks you want to work with. I work with ClickBooth right now. I work with W4. Um, I don't work with these two, Max Bounty and Clearfly. Uh, I have worked with Mundo Media. They're they're good as well. They're a global uh, company. Uh, so this is the place you want to go. Global wide. I work with them. I work with Mattamy. Um Above all offers, these guys are great. Work with that as well. Um, so anyway, these are this is where you go. Find the top industry leaders, right? And go in there, read their comments, see who, who knows them, and uh, pick a network and start applying. Apply to all of them if you want. You know, this is where you get your offers. <clears throat> um, so how to get approved? Um, tell them you're a newbie. It, it, it's not a bad thing to say that you're new. Okay. And I know a lot of people try and tell you to make up, like, to make up things and say, you know what, like, I make this much money a month. No, you don't have to do that. I, I've gone through hundreds, maybe thousands of applications through our network. Um, I can tell when people are lying, and 
and so can pretty much every affiliate manager out there. So tell them the truth. Say, look, I, I'm taking this course. Uh, here's the course I'm taking right now. Uh, you can tell them you're taking a powerhouse affiliate course, whatever it is. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of these people know me uh, or this site. Uh, look, we're taking this. Uh, I'm just trying to learn the industry. Uh, this is what I'm doing, and I, I, I might not have a website right now, but I will. Um, so the more honest you are, the more likely you're not going to be rejected. The reason why they're so um, adamant on understanding your business model is because the whole idea of getting paid. And if, if they accept too many fraudulent affiliates, then they're not going to get paid, which means no one else is going to get paid in the long run. Okay, let's go back to the slideshow here. Okay, so now I want to get into a little bit about my past and existing successes in CPA. Um, the thing is about CPA is the more creative you are, the more likely it is you are going to make money. Um, but there's also ways to see what others are doing, and I'll get into that later. But um, the best way is to come up with your own ideas and launch campaigns and test them. Um, I thought I would get into a couple of campaigns of maybe a few thousand a day, and I thought that would be interesting to talk about, and I'll explain my mentality when I came up with these ideas, and um, maybe it can inspire some people to come up with their own ideas. Um, so one example um, of an offer that I ran in the past was for uh, football season. Uh, football is obviously a huge sport in the United States, and I'm talking football as in uh, NFL, National Football League. Um, it is a massive uh, follow, has a massive following in the United States. Um, and one of the advertisers was called MindSpark, and some of you might know who MindSpark is, but I'll go there right now. Uh, MindSpark, and so they have a bunch of uh, applications that actually. Um, attached to uh, your browser, and they'll pay you for every time somebody downloads uh, one of these applications and installs it on their web browser. And one of the browser, uh, one of the applications is called Bring Me Sports. <laughs> so basically, if somebody installed it on their browser, they could watch uh, replays or football, or they can watch any sport um, on their browser by clicking on the actual. Uh, toolbar and then it would drop down a list of sports that you could kind of watch. Now, what I had done with this campaign is every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday, which turns out to be, you know, Sunday, Sunday NFL is the big day for football, and then Monday night football and Thursday night football, because during the games I would actually run advertisements on Bing Ads, which is a, an ad network, Bing Ads, uh, which will redirect me. But this is a, a Microsoft uh, traffic source. So if you go in here, you can buy ads, and you can sign up here, and they'll actually give you a $50 credit when you sign up. So this, there's some free traffic for you right there, $50 worth. So anytime anybody search on, search, searches on Bing, they would see my ads. So if they went on Monday, Monday Night Football, watch Monday Night Football, then you would see uh, a bunch of ads. See. Uh, now that I'm in, I'm in Canada right now, so you might not see a bunch of ads on here because uh, people aren't advertising. But here's an ad here. Um, 2016 NFL live streaming. See? This guy is probably doing something similar. <coughs> but he's probably actually advertising the streaming site. But I was advertising the toolbar. So every time somebody installed the toolbar, I'd make three to, three to five dollars. Uh, and I would pay about 20 cents for a click. So when you think about that, this is this is a style of advertising that works well for CPA. And Bing Ads is actually, if you have your pen and paper, write down Bing Ads, get your fifty dollar credit, and test out some ads on this site, especially CPA ads. And go in here and actually search for words uh, or anything really, and see what other people are advertising. It's a great site, and uh, pretty much every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday, this uh, this advertisement worked out to at least a thousand, maybe two thousand dollars profit per day. Now, whoa, 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 Joey, hold up, Joey, hold up, Joey. You just blew us away, Joey. You said <laughs> yeah. Sunday, 
Sunday, which we all know here in the U.S. is football day. Monday is Monday night football, and then they implemented Thursday night football. So you would run the ad on those three days and make anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars a day. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm not lying. Uh, this is funny because and Super Bowl Sunday is uh, is probably the best one to be honest. You just gotta make sure your server can handle it on Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, you're gonna need a, a nice server for that one. But yes, and now this offer still exists. But over time, like this is an offer that has been out there for a long time. People are still running it. You might see it out there. I mean, if you even search Brigham Sports right now, you're gonna see the app probably on here. Bring me sports. Uh, this is probably the page uh, I ran. I don't even know if the ad they're, they're um, they would they would be advertising some way, but this is the actual offer here. This is right. This is the actual landing page that I ran that, that they had. Right. So this is the offer. When they click to install, you know, it installs ad extension, and then the affiliate gets paid when that's actually installed. So yeah. It's a, that's just an example of the type of CPA offer that did very well, and it's still out there. So I'm going to try and go back to my thing here. Let me go into another example, um, and feel free to ask me questions on that other campaign later. Uh, so another traffic source that I did very well on uh, is AirPush. Um, the quality has gone down a bit, but uh, let me just see if I can get in there. I just logged in there. So as you can see here, look, this is no lie. This is 103 campaigns I've run on AirPush, okay? Uh, current about 70 bucks, but I, I don't really use AirPush right now. But these, look at this, look at these stats here, and this is real, okay? Uh, 449 conversions, 114, and these these aren't very accurate with conversion tracking. And uh, if you know tracking, you'll understand why these aren't extremely accurate. But it's it is showing conversions, so you know this is real traffic. Um, <clears throat> the name of the campaign here. All of these are uh, different uh, campaigns I ran. Most of them are diet diet offers, but I also ran FanDuel, which is a big uh, offer in the states. And actually, as we're coming into football season, FanDuel is going to be an actual uh, offer that I'll, I'll likely run again this year. <clears throat> Last year, I got three uh, forty-four thousand clicks to, to it just on AirPush. Um, um, and these clicks are look, four cents a click. Okay, these are these aren't uh, expensive clicks. But again, this is mobile traffic. Okay, so you gotta you gotta keep that in mind. But if you're spending four cents a click and you have a small budget, you get a lot of clicks. Uh, you know, twenty or forty bucks. Um, Ransom dating on here. Look, there's five, eight, 14 pages of campaigns here that I've run. Okay, there's 103 campaigns. Now I didn't test 103 campaigns. These are campaigns that I ran, I made money, uh, and they're just examples. Okay, so let's go into FanDuel for an example. Uh, look at the ads here, okay? Install Fantasy. So this is an install, okay? This is a mobile advertisement. I'm getting paid by the CPA network. Every time somebody installs this FanDuel app, okay? Uh, I'm paying four cents for every click. So even if one in ten or one in a hundred click and install, I'm making money. Okay. <clears throat> um, here's the types of ads uh, I've ran. You know, install fantasy NFL free. It's a free installation. Uh, one million dollar football contest FanDuel every week. Okay. Um, these are the types of ads that do extremely well. Installs on mobile traffic. It just makes sense, you know what I mean? Uh, you have to use common sense. You're on a mobile network. Why wouldn't you run install offers? But again, when I go back to the dashboard here, I also ran um, credit card offers. So these are like the diet ones here, diet and dating. These, these, these converted when people actually paid for a trial offer of a diet supplement. So there's people on here that pay on mobile as well. So don't um, underestimate the power of mobile traffic. It's huge. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Uh, let me say something, Joy. 
Uh, let me just ask a quick question, ladies and gentlemen. How, how many of you are taking notes? If you're taking notes, because I got a half a page of notes, and I should have had maybe two pages by now, but I was sitting here and, and you know. But anyway, if you're taking notes, just type in notes. Like, I, I've already gotten some really, really good notes from the information that he shared. I want to see how many people are taking notes. Okay, I see notes, 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 notes. Me, 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 notes. Two pages of notes. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. So, yeah, yeah, people are taking notes. I'm taking notes. I'm like, whoa, hold up. This is too good, man. Let me write all this down. <laughs> awesome. Man, awesome content. But, yeah, go ahead, my brother. All right, moving on. Right, the interruption. <laughs> okay. So let's get into, I think there's about three, maybe four slides left, and then we'll be done. Um, free versus paid traffic, okay? Now, for those of you who are listening to me, you obviously know by now I'm not big on free traffic, okay? I've never been big on free traffic, but I thought I'd talk about it because I know a lot of people out there don't have a budget right off the bat for free, for paid traffic. But when you're paying four cents a click, it's not hard to come up with uh, 10 or 20 bucks to get a, a, a few hundred clicks. But... I understand, and I've been in the point where free traffic is the only method. And that's why we're talking about a free traffic method that I used when I first started. And this, I'm sure, still works today, but honestly, I haven't done it for about 10 years. <clears throat> Articles. Okay? So this is the big one, and this is how I started in CPA. And I did it with auto loans. And then I just end the show for a second. I'm going to go to a quick example here, because I don't want to hold people up too long, but... Uh, and how long have we been going, by the way, just so I understand? For 42 minutes in, I think? Okay, no worries. Okay, so uh, I actually started on easy articles, and I used to hire somebody uh, to write an article a day, maybe two articles a day. And at the bottom of the articles, you're going to always find uh, people, like, I'm just going to click an article for an example here. And at the bottom, you're going to see links. Um, Right here, article source. And every person that writes an article on Easy Articles can submit their content for free. And <laughs> within the first day, you're going to get some people that are going to come to your article. And at the very bottom, you're allowed to insert one link. And I used to write articles about auto loans, how to find cheap auto loans, blah, 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 you know. And actually, uh, actually if you just searched in here right now, you probably find people still doing this, right? Um, and the author I was running paid out. $10 for every person that filled out the form for an auto loan. So I'd write articles on how to find cheap, cheap uh, auto loans, and then at the bottom would say, if you want a cheap auto loan right now, click this link and fill out the form immediately, and you'll you know get 10 quotes. That's how I started. Um, I paid somebody. I went on Odesk uh, at the time. Now I'm using Upwork. I don't use Upwork for article writers, but you can find a ton of article writers out there. They'll write articles for a dollar a piece. If they submit, you know, 10 articles a day for you, paying 10 bucks, you probably get a bunch of clicks, right? Um, it's another way to get traffic. And I know I said free traffic, right? So if you're paying somebody, it's not free. So if you're writing it yourself, it kind of is free, but you're trading time for your clicks, okay? So there's no such thing as free traffic. It's either you're paying up time or you're paying up dollars. Um, but that was the way I did before, and I didn't actually pay people at the time. When I first started, I wrote to myself. Um, another one is form signatures. <coughs> um, this works well in the internet marketing space um, because there's a lot of internet marketing forums out there. And an example is the Powerhouse Affiliate, uh, Powerhouse Affiliate, Affiliate Program, which is a site I actually own. Uh, I've been uh, putting my own affiliate links, if you want to call it that, into uh, my forum signatures when I go into big forums and talk about affiliate marketing and stuff like that. Uh, people click your forum signature, they go to your site, they, they look at it, and if you have something capturing, uh, most of the time people that do this will do it with an email submit or capturing the email themselves. So they'll send the people from their forum signatures right into a, a freebie offer, enter your email, get this program, and then you can start marketing to them afterwards. But that is a free traffic source. Swarm signatures. This is a big one that's been around for a long time, but it requires a lot of work again. <coughs> free traffic, Facebook and a blog. And nobody probably thought I'd talk about Donald Trump tonight, but you know what? Why not? Okay? Everybody else has talked about Donald Trump. So I thought this is a good example. 
Facebook and a blog. Okay? Now, the reason why I bring up Trump is because he's viral. Everything and every media outlet out there is talking about Trump, whether it's good or bad. I'm not going to I'm not gonna talk about it. But what I'm talking about is people are talking about Trump, okay? So let's go to uh, the, actually, <coughs> I don't know if I can bring up my Facebook here. But there's a, there's a group here on Facebook. Um, I'm just going to search it quickly. It's Donald Trump. And the reason why I want to bring this up, Trump for president, okay? Now, every time I go in here, hold on here, let me just close these off here. Everybody's messages here. Okay, so here's an example. This is a group. It's got a ton of traffic right now, okay? Every time somebody posts on it, you're going to find out, like, when you look down at these shares, 34 shares, uh, 82 shares, every time, and look, these are all people posting their own content in this group. But it's all related to political stuff, right? There's a ton of authors on CBA networks related to Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton right now. It is Hillary versus Trump. Enter your email. And then the affiliate gets paid one or two. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, there's probably affiliates scouring just group, groups like this alone. You come in here, you join the group, and you post something. And you have a link in it. And I know it's spam, so you have to be careful. But when you when you post content, this is the, this is the difference. These people are posting content, okay? And this is what I'm going to get into in the last part of this presentation, when we start getting into actually delivering content and, and something that's valuable to people. This is why it's been shared. Look, 132,000 views, and this is something that was just posted uh, two hours ago. Okay, this is this is pure gold for free traffic. Facebook is where you start if you want to go free traffic. Um, so, um, anyway, the, the key here, though, is that these people are posting content. So go to these groups, look at what they're posting, and then build a blog, put your CPA offers on your blog, and come in here and post something that's valuable and that will get shared. And I talk about that a lot in, uh, in the upcoming slide and, and where you can find this information. 730,000 views in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it is crazy because you know I know about CPA, I know about Facebook groups, but man, this, like like this was a golden nugget that you just threw at us, Joey. That, like I don't know how many people took a swing at it. I don't know how many people picked it up and put it in their bucket. But this is golden. Find a viral group. Man, just write some content, put it on a blog, put CPA offers in it. Trump is the hottest <laughs> thing going, whether you like his toupee or not. Oh my goodness. Let me ask a question. Who's excited about what Joey is sharing with you this evening? Who is excited? Just t type in. I'm excited. Man, we got football. We got I don't even like Trump. You know, I and, and I don't even know why I don't like Trump, but you know, like like yeah. man, like between Trump and football, man, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Right on. Okay, so I think people are getting the point here. Uh, where you go for traffic is viral. And these are simple things that are everyday life, right? Uh, these are things that happen every year, every uh, every uh, every day. So let's just go back a bit. So okay, now we're gonna get into the paid traffic. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong slide here. Boom. Okay, how to get high quality, cheap paid traffic? This is this is okay. Free traffic, like like you said, Jock, it's a gold mine. There's some, there's some spots, and that's how you do it, right? You go to the big networks, you go to the big places, but paid traffic is what I've actually been focusing on a lot, and this is probably for the last 10 years, paid traffic. Um, but uh, trust me, I still take advantage of these nuggets when they count in free areas as well. And the beauty about Facebook is that you can combine paid and free together. Okay, so you, you create a post, you, you can pay $7 a, a day if you want on your post, it starts getting th thrown out there. Facebook doesn't consider it spam because you're paying for it, and then you start dropping it, you know, and then it starts getting shared, and then you see how much cheap free traffic you're getting from your paid traffic. So this is kind of like a, another golden nugget out there. Uh, so anyway, moving on, Facebook. That is the that is the the king of traffic for um, probably. Uh, all the people I've talked to in the industry. I've been to a few affiliate summits uh, in New York. Um, I haven't been out to the one in um, 
in uh, Las Vegas yet, but I'm, I'm probably going to be there next year. This year, I'm, I'm actually getting married soon, so I'm not going to make it. But uh, Out West is a good one. But everybody is talking Facebook, okay? You go to these summits, you go uh, anywhere, you're talking about Facebook, you're buying traffic, and, and everywhere you go. It's cheap, you can you can beat the algorithm to have an in-depth algorithm, but I'm telling you, you get some high click-through images and viral uh, content, and it's gonna go crazy on Facebook. Uh, you've got Bing. That's uh, that's probably one of the top places I've always ran on, and I talked about it earlier. Uh, and then mobile networks. Airbush was one that I showed you, and uh, Gemini, which is Yahoo, Yahoo Gemini. This is a mobile content uh, network. You can put your content on there, and it goes, uh, you know, pretty cheap. So these, if if you're looking to start paying for traffic, these are three that I would, you know recommend, but not the, the, the best one yet, and that's what I'm going to get into next, which is absolutely the top traffic source that we're going to talk about. Uh, oh, so I forgot about in-text. Yeah, in-text, 50 on red. So 50 on red, if you go to 50onred.com, write that down. It's, uh, it's actually, a, a, for people that uh, uh, like couponing, <laughs> I think this is uh, the place. 50 on Red is actually like the site I showed you earlier, which is MindSpark. But MindSpark gets people to install toolbars and they have a search network in the background. So that's how they monetize those downs. Those, uh, that's how they pay me $3 because they know that everybody that installs that search toolbar is going to start searching in that toolbar and they're going to make money for their advertising. Well, 50 on Red is kind of similar, but they're a big network of coupons. So you know that most of the people on this network are female. Because that's the uh, target market for them. Uh, if you actually even go into their text, uh, or if you go into their um, information about their their demographics, you'll see that it's mostly female. It's over the age of uh, 25, um, and this is great for uh, gaming offers. If you're running diet, if you're running skincare, uh, these are in-text ads that you can target directly into these niches, and that's a uh, is something that is uh, quite valuable. But again, these aren't the best traffic sources because I'm going to get into what I wanted to talk about. But first, let's go to tips for true success. Uh, let's go through this quickly. Focus on one campaign at a time. Don't overdo it. Most people get into the uh, you know shiny object syndrome. Uh, let's just focus on one thing, try it, and um, uh, go from there. You need proper tracking. There's volume, CPB Lab, Prosper, Beyond. Uh, or sorry, volume is a big one, but you have to pay monthly. CPB Lab is a one-time payment. And Prosper 202 is free, and we like free, and I use Prosper 202 today, but I mostly use CPB Lab. <laughs> it's just a little more uh, time-saving, but for those of you that don't want to spend money right now on tracking, go to Prosper 202 and look, and look it up. Probably still get it free if you uh, if you have an account on one of their hosting companies. Uh, you're going to need a host a hosting company, and Beyond Hosting is what I use. I use their dedicated server, but for when you're first starting out, you don't need a dedicated server. You only need a small server, the entry level server. Go in there, sign up, and they will actually install CPU Lab or Prosper 202 for you, and then you're you're all set. <coughs> Don't jump from method to method, course to course. I think that's pretty obvious. Stick to one method. When you find something that works, scale it and focus on it. When you find something that works, build a niche site or authority around it. And that's where the blog Facebook method comes back into play. You find something that works, maybe you're into politics, maybe you're into football, maybe you're into whatever, Pokemon. That's a big one, right? So uh, gaming, whatever. But you find something that's working. It's, it's, it's working. You're making money. Why expand into other areas? Focus on that niche. Build an authority around it. Uh, miss busted on CPA. CPA building marketing is easy. Uh, no, it is not. I know it looks easy uh, when people start showing screenshots of uh, big earnings and you know all these ideas. But you really have to focus. You have to work, and you have to you have to put in effort. 
the myth of you need to find sub niches in order to compete. That is not true. Everything I run right now is the biggest niches out there. Football is huge, big niche. Uh, sports, huge. Diet, huge. Skincare, huge. Don't go for the sub niches unless you, uh, you really want to. But there's huge traffic in the biggest niches out there. And I showed you earlier that you can get cheap flex. It's just the way the internet's going right now. <laughs> Mobile traffic is massive. It's just getting more and more traffic. Uh, and it's cheap. Everybody's competing to sell their clicks. Uh, affiliate marketing is dying. That is a myth, as we can see today. I don't even think I can get into that. But anyway, affiliate marketing is not dying. It's not going to die anytime soon. I don't think it's ever going to die, to be honest with you. <laughs> and the myth of if you build it, they will come. A lot of people build their website. And they put all this effort into, you know, all the right messages, but at the end of the day, nobody's coming. And that's just the way it is. You can build the biggest, nicest, prettiest blog out there, put hundreds and thousands of dollars into it if you want, but nobody's going to come until you actually put the effort in and post it online or buy traffic. <coughs> okay, so what's hot? This is it. This is it. Okay? Native advertising. This is huge, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Because all of you, I'm sure, well, maybe 90% of you have been on a website. And let's just go right now. Oh, sorry. Let's just stand that for a second here. I'll get to that in a second. But when you go to a site, let's see. This is one of the biggest sites out there, you know, in the States. Great source of traffic. Uh, look here. <laughs> a lot of the stuff here at the bottom, when you start getting down here, is going to be ads once you click on something, one of these. <coughs> and these are native ads you're going to see. You might also like. Everybody has seen, you might also like. Okay? These are all advertisements. If not, then the next page will be a bunch of advertisements. Okay? Um, these are native advertisements. And you don't even know they're advertisements, they're just content. And this is what we're getting into here. This is a huge traffic source, and anybody with a small budget, even you can you can start with even ten dollars, okay? Um, let me go back here for a second. Um, what I love about native advertising, you can start with a small budget, okay? You can go in and you can have your ads on the front of CNN. You can have them on ESPN.com, which is where I would probably toss out my football ads. You can have them on. Well, if I was to run uh, political ads, they'd be on CNN, obviously, because that's all they're talking about right now is Trump and Hillary. Um, look at the stats here, okay? Look at the ability to scale. <clears throat> so on August 18th, which is, uh, I don't know, about a week ago, I started a campaign. I, I set my bid high just to get started. 83 cents a click. Oh, sorry, let's go back here. Sorry about that. Um, so we go 83 cents a click down to 18 cents, and then by four days later, I'm at 12 cents a click. And I'm getting these big numbers of clicks and impressions. <laughs> and this is in diet. This is actually a diet campaign I was running. Okay? Um, 12 cents for diet clicks on major news networks and major sites like uh, health sites is, is Amazing, actually, in today's day and age. Because if you were to go on Google AdWords and try and buy pay-per-click clicks from Google, you'd be paying two to five dollars a click for for diet. And now you're get, I'm getting these twelve cent clicks, right? Um, with hundreds of thousands of people seeing my ad on a daily basis. Um, it's high quality, engaging traffic, and it's cheap. And this is what people are doing today. And there's tons of networks out there, OK? Tons of them. And um, I've been running pretty much the, the majority of my traffic in the last six to eight months on new ads and Facebook. But <clears throat> this one is the biggest. And this is why I wanted to save it for the last, because it's huge. And let's just go back for a second and, uh, and look. Um, for another example, Diplead.com, which is another big uh, content network. Um, when you go to these sites, there's there's it's astronomical how much um, traffic is on these sites, and you can see all these are ads over here. You can see these are ads, <coughs> and these are the types of ads 
that uh, we're talking about. And there's actually a trick to running these ads, though. You can't just set up your ad and uh, start expecting to make money. There's actually a way to do it properly that yields a lot of revenue. And uh, if you don't know how to set them up properly, then obviously it's just going to cost you money and it's not going to return any of your money back. So anyway, that's what I uh, wanted to say at the end. So, Getting into that now, I want to talk about the, the, the grand finale, which is obviously the course that uh, we just launched today, right, Jock? Uh, this is something we've been talking about for a while. Um, let me see it here. Um, that we're, uh, we've released today, and it's called CPA Display Academy, where we're actually getting into I actually developed this course with uh, Stephen uh, and Timothy, but uh, <laughs> Basically, we're sharing the exact campaigns running. Now, as you've seen earlier, I showed you some of the campaigns that I ran previously, but today I'm actually releasing campaigns running currently, right now, and these are actually up to date. You saw the stats in the screenshot I showed you earlier. Okay, those were stats from this week. These are campaigns we're running. Uh, I don't spend money on drafting without losing very often, so uh, let's just um, keep that clear, right? So. This stuff works. This, uh, we know what we're doing, and um, this is available right now. And um, let me just uh, bring it up here. Before we get into the Q&A, I just want to talk about that briefly. Um, so what's, in, what's involved in this course is uh, we've got a full campaign walkthrough of how exactly to set up the campaign with CPA, how to get accepted in the networks, how to get the top payouts, how to choose the offer, the best niches um, to run on these networks, on these ad networks that I uh, showed you. Um, we're also going to be talking about how to set your tracking up, how to bid on clicks, how much to bid, how to get the best click-through rates on your ads so you pay less than 10 cents per click. We do cover a little bit on free traffic in this course, but the only free stuff is the stuff that I showed you earlier, which is uh, a little bit of those uh, bonuses you get from Google, from Bing. But we show you how to take the, the traffic from the display stuff that we're doing and get retargeted traffic on your free money from Bing and from Google. It's actually a really uh, cool course. It shows you inside exactly what we're doing. And there's up to five campaigns you can see that we're doing currently right now. When I say we, I mean uh, my, myself, as well as my uh, three or four uh, at a time guys that were working for me that I've actually contracted out to set up images for me and stuff like that. But uh, that's why I say we a lot. But it is, it is my course, and I've actually developed it, and it's all inside um, this course. And you can get it right now through Jacques. Uh, right now for a limited time discount. Um, and there's the link right there on the screen. It's at uh, jacquesmorris.com uh, slash CPA display. So Jacques, I don't know where, where we want to go here, but I, uh, I've pretty much gone through most of the content, but I, I, and I'm sure there's a lot of questions, and uh, I'm, I'm willing to answer as many as we can in the next you know, 15 minutes. Okay, sounds good. So first thing I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, uh, well, first thing, let me just ask, how many of you thoroughly enjoyed the content that Joy delivered this evening and truly, truly found value in it? If that was you, just type in me. Like, you thoroughly enjoyed the content and you found a ton of value in what Joy shared this evening, type in the chat box me so that way, hey, Joy and I both can see that the goods were delivered. So I see... Yes, I did. I see I did. Me, 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 me. I see me. I see me, 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 me. And me, 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 da, 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 me. Excellent. So, look, looks like everybody got a ton of value. Let me go ahead and put the link in there. Let's see here. And you can see it. So that's jacquesmorris.com forward slash CPA display. Now, I just sent that link over to everybody. When you actually go to that particular page, you're going to see, believe it or not, believe it or not, that this particular um, course, <laughs> like literally, Joy could have charged 
he could have charged what thirty four. Well, but yeah, let me ask you, ladies and gentlemen, how much do you think the info was worth that you received tonight? Like, if you had to pay to actually attend this free training. How much would you have paid, you know, now that you've been here, you've seen the content, to actually learn this this evening? Go ahead and put that in the chat box for me. Let me see here. And, okay. All right. Let's see if we can get a few more people. Oh, oh man. Okay. <laughs> All right. Somebody said 2,000. Somebody said 500. Somebody said 1,000. Ladies and gentlemen, Joy has put together a course for $27.95, and when you actually go to that particular link, that's $27.95. When you go to that particular link, pay very close, pay very close attention to the page because there's actually a $3 discount coupon code on there. So what does that mean? You can get the course, the 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 core front end course for less than $25. You can actually get it for $24.95 plus all the content that he shared with you this evening so what we're going to do for the next few minutes because I'm sure you know man a lot of you probably have questions I saw some questions scrolling through the chat but I'm gonna be honest with you guys you know because typically I am or I try to be as transparent as possible I was trying to take notes and write down your questions at the same time so get so guess what got put on the back burner all of your questions. No, I'm just joking. Not all of your questions, but uh, Joy, one of the first. Uh, what, let's see. Actually, this was answered in the information that you shared. But let me touch on this. So, an individual asked, "What tracking source do you use?" And you um, actually shared those with us. But then they also asked, "Do you use retargeting?" Yeah. Yeah. So I did talk about that as well. Uh, retargeting, and that was a piece that's going to be talked about in the course. Uh, on how to uh, retarget and uh, take advantage of the free traffic you're going to get from Google and Bing when you sign up for them. Uh, you can go in and set your retargeting pixels uh, as well on your pages when you're running the cheap, cheap traffic that I'm going to show you about. Um, and then you can retarget those same visitors uh, later on uh, Google or Bing or even Facebook. Facebook has retargeting pixels as well. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Excellent, excellent. And you said that's all that. Well, yeah, I was gonna say that's also in the course, you know, an, an extensive section there. Um, somebody asked, what are the OTOs? So I, I see. Um, well, one yeah. question is, what, what's the upsell? The other one is, what are the OTOs? Okay. Uh, okay. So there's uh, the main course is going to talk about an actual campaign we're running right now. Okay. Uh, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see the traffic source. You're gonna see the ads we're running landing page, and we're going to talk in depth about native advertising. Uh, so that's that's part one. Part two is actually case studies. These are actual more campaigns that we're actually running, okay, on Facebook and another traffic source that uh, I don't want to mention right here. Uh, if, if you want to get in and see it, then you'll see it. Uh, but Facebook is one of them. Uh, we get in there, uh, we talk about um, exactly what ads we're running again. We, see, we show the stats, the revenue, everything, how we set it up, um, and that's upsell number one. Uh, that's two case studies plus you get uh, 20 landing pages with that upsell. Uh, upsell, uh, there's one more, it's uh, two actual we call them done for you campaigns. These are Another two campaigns that we're running right now, and um, they're profitable. You can download the ads. We're going to give you the exact widgets. Uh, I didn't talk about widgets very much or domain IDs, but when I get into the course, if you get in there, you'll see what I mean by that. And this is when you get into the optimizing of your traffic sources. Uh, you block certain content from your from seeing your ads. Uh, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars this year alone in getting those widget IDs that don't work, and I'm, I'm actually sharing those. That alone is worth thousands, in, in my opinion. Um, and I'm not just saying that to you know be salesy or anything like that. This is true. This is how much I've spent to get those domains and widgets, and I'm sharing them. And this is like actual content that you need to block when you go onto these places and buy traffic. Okay. Uh, you get that plus the landing pages. Actually, with that one, you also get 50 landing pages. So those are the two upsells. Then there's one last piece, which uh, is optional again. It's the private forum 
that we have right now. We have a private affiliate forum. A great community of people that we talk about what we're doing. Uh, you can get one-on-one -on -one access with me. You can private message me. You can ask me questions. You can do whatever you want uh, inside this private forum, and that's uh, that's available as well for thirty-seven dollars. And you can come in and you can talk to me. You can ask me what you're doing, anything like that. And that's it. Excellent, 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 excellent. So um, another question: um, What type of guarantee comes with this training course? Well, there's always a money back guarantee. If you don't like it, you get your money back. Really, that's it. I don't. I don't there's no guarantee on how much you're going to make. Uh, this is the real deal. I mean, uh, that's that's pretty much all I can say. Uh, if you don't like it, uh, I guess there's nothing I can do. <laughs> I try my best. I try my best, really. But yeah, this is this is good stuff. Uh, there's a guarantee that uh, you know, at, at any time, you know, people don't like it. Uh, I guess. All right. Cool. 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 Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Um. Uh oh. Man. I. I. I sent. Uh oh. Hold on. I thought I sent everybody the link. Let's see. That's Jacques T Morris M O R R I S dot com uh, forward slash. Okay. All right. Sent to all. All right. Sorry. I. I, I must have put in two S's. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um. So how much is O T O one? How much is O T O two? That. That. I was a question. Okay, OTO one is uh sixty seven and OTO two is ninety seven. But again, OTO uh, one is showing you actual live campaigns. You're getting twenty landing pages. A landing page in itself is uh, you know cost you fifty or hundred dollars to get built. These are you know things you get to download. There you go. You're getting five actual landing pages I've run myself. You're getting one diet ad tutorial that I've run myself as well. So these are uh, I'm sorry, guys. What that? I'm not sure what that sound is. It keeps painting in the back of my head. Somebody trying to Facebook me, I think. Uh, anyway, yeah. So that's OTO one for sixty-seven. You're gonna get that ninety-seven for the OTO two. But again, uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars spent on getting the widget IDs for you guys to just pretty much plug and play. Open up this uh, course for OTO two. You're gonna see exact campaigns I'm actually running right now. What country? What's the bid? What's the ad? Download my ad text. Download the ad images. Download the landing page. Upload. Turn on your ads. Boom. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, that's why it's ninety-seven dollars. And really, I uh, try to tell Tim uh, and Steve, you know, we should charge more. And they said, okay, well, we'll just leave it open for a little bit, and then we'll bring it on. So I said, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So when we when we teamed up on this, and they're uh, they're helping me with this, then we said, yeah, we're only, we'll, we'll only get applied for a certain amount of time, and it's not. Excellent, excellent, man. That's just totally awesome. That is just totally awesome right there. So, um, again, ladies and gentlemen, I put the correct link. My apologies if I put the wrong link. That's jacquetmorris.com, and my last name is M-O-R-R-I-S. I don't have two S's, you know, like I couldn't spell my own name right but anyway jacktmores.com forward slash cpa display i also put in the chat for you ladies and gentlemen the coupon code so the coupon code is instant three that's instant in in capital i n s t a n t the number three you're going to get three dollars off so so again you can like i said you can get the um front end course for less than twenty-five dollars. So, uh, go ahead and pop any of your other questions that you have in there for us, real quick, because I know it's getting—it's a little bit past top of the hour. Again, we don't want to keep you, ladies and gentlemen, here too long. However, for those that do have questions, we definitely want to get those answered. Let's see. Ah, oh, man, hold on. There was another one I saw here. Where did that question go? Let me see if I can find it real quick, Joy. It was—it was something in reference to. Let me see. Let me see if I can find. How do you use Airbrush to set up your ads? That that was a question. How do you use Airbrush to set up your ads? Right, um, right. Airbrush. Sorry about that. Yeah, Airbrush. I mean, uh, basically, I sign up, and then uh, they've got some uh, options there. There's a, several different options. You can use uh, video ads. You can use uh, push ads. 
or you could use iPhone ads. Uh, most of the stuff I ran on there was actually uh, push ads, and it was on uh, Android. So I did a lot of ads that were pushed. So basically, uh, that's why they call it Air Push, right? So they basically, uh, when people install games from other places, these game owners that have these apps put on uh, Air Push ads on their games, so it pushes these ads directly into your uh, feed. So like, let's say you, uh, you're looking at who's texted you today, you know, what the weather's like, you got these all these things in your feed when you open up your phone, right? One of them is going to be an advertisement because you've installed some kind of app on your phone. So that's where these ads come from and uh, they're, they're very effective but you have to be very careful on there as well because uh, there's some uh, app owners that are, are just, they send really bad traffic. So you have to block them and so there's certain ways you need to block that traffic. We actually have a course inside of Powerhouse Affiliate, which is OT03, about that forum I told you about. Um, we have a course in there that's included with that forum access. It's a high-end course. We talk specifically about Airbush and uh, one of the dating offers that we ran in the past. Um, you can see it. Uh, you actually, you saw it on the list there earlier, the UK dating uh, one. I go into depth on uh, how to set up tracking on that, how to block the bad apps from your, your ads, everything. Cool, cool, cool. So uh, let me ask this question because I know we get this a lot. I, I didn't see anybody ask it, but I, I, I've heard this question. So person gets the course, they go through the training. Let's say they get the OTO, they're able to communicate uh, with you. And I know from experience that you know it's going to take a minute or two in order to find a winning campaign. But um, can you give us some type of idea as far as, and let's just be conservative here, a person generating $2,000 profit in a month. And, and, and the reason I said 2000 because that's a very significant number if a person is, number one, not making any money, uh, number two, if they're like just really, really getting going. So like, can you just give our audience some type of idea of, of, of the type of effort and maybe even time frame that it would take, even though I know you can't guarantee any right, of those right. things. Yeah. So yeah, let's throw that disclaimer out right now, but let, let's just say this, let's, let's give an example here. Uh, so on native ads and the ones that I'm going to show you, the native ad networks and stuff like that, there's there's things, you know, like I was like talking about earlier, we call it to domain IDs. So basically you could just advertise on one site. Uh, you can get 100 clicks from it, let's say, for 10 bucks or whatever, or not even, it would be like 8 bucks, whatever. Who, who knows? If I told you, okay, look, you're gonna, if I trained you how to possibly make your $10 back, okay, you're going to spend 10 and you might make your $10 back, or you might make a little more. Would you invest that same $10 tomorrow, right? Probably would. I mean, if, if, you're, if you spend $10 today, you make it back today, so you're going to go back tomorrow, you're going to spend that $10, you're going to try and tweak it a little bit and try and make more, right? So. It all depends on what level of risk you want to do. So let's say tomorrow you tweak it, or today you tweak a few things based on some of the tips and the optimization techniques that I show you. <coughs> and tomorrow you spend that same ten dollars on that same traffic source, and now you made twelve dollars. You're now you're going to go back tomorrow and you spend twelve dollars. And if, let's just think about that over time, over thirty days. Now you keep tweaking, and and the more you spend, the more you can scale. The thing is about this traffic source uh, and type. Not just the one source. I'm, I'm talking about the type of traffic it is. Is it's it's pretty much unlimited uh, traffic for majority of budgets out there uh, in the affiliate space. Um, I've spent up to you know ten to fifteen thousand dollars in one day, right, on traffic. Uh, I, I didn't just wake up tomorrow and say I'm going to spend fifty grand today, right? Start with a uh, ten, twenty, fifty, hundred. See if it works. If it doesn't, how much? However much you you're, you're willing to lose. And then tomorrow, let's say you, uh, even if you made half of that pack, you're, you're winning, okay? Uh, that's the thing about this is uh, if you spend 10 and you make five back, it's still not a bad day uh, because tomorrow you can fix the things that went wrong today and tomorrow you have another stab at it and you only spend $5 today. Um, then you find one that's winning and all you basically do is you turn the switch up every day that you're willing to go more. And, that, and that's where I talked about earlier about CPA networks. You've got to make sure that you choose good CPA networks that you trust and that pay you weekly. 
okay, so that you're not spending a bunch of money and waiting for three months or a month or whatever it is in F15 that some people try and push on you. Like, oh, yeah, we only pay monthly. Yeah, well, too bad. I'll go to the next network that's going to pay me weekly. That's a really good point. Um, you know, with, with regard to networks paying weekly, definitely want to take note of that. You know, again, ladies and gentlemen, you want to get connected with the network uh, that pays weekly. I know I had previously did a training on, you know, how to get approved with uh, Max Bounty. I actually just had someone message me. It was either today or yesterday and said uh, that they watched my training video and that they got approved on Max Bounty. So let me ask this. Um, with the traffic that you run on the different networks and the landing pages and, and the offers and everything, are you also building a email marketing list when, when, when you're doing this? Uh, yeah, and actually that's something I didn't mention earlier. Uh, yes, uh, when I, actually I kind of did, but I didn't. Uh, when I talked about when you find something that works, build a blog and the Facebook authority. Remember that part of the presentation where I talked about that? Right, uh, right. You right. find something and then you build your authority. And that's where I usually get into the email list building. So I find something that's making money with CPA, and then I build an authority around it, and then I start sending traffic to the squeeze page. And I actually talk about that in depth inside this course. Um, we actually include with this course a bonus, which is the five phase list building method uh, that we use. And that's an actual bonus course that's included with this. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So, yes, absolutely, man. Uh, email is big. I have a, I have a list, uh, I use it daily, yeah, a few lists, actually, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, 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 awesome. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, I, I hope you're getting it, you know, again, uh, with the native advertising, you know, in, inside of Joy's course, you're going to learn how to essentially tap into unlimited traffic, regardless of what your budget is. And, you know, he, he put out a really good example, and I can appreciate that example. He said, hey, you spend $10, $12, and let's just say you make that $10, $12 back. Well, are you going to turn around, you know, make a few adjustments to your campaign and run the traffic again? Very next day after that, which is what the second, no, which is the third day, you make a $2 profit. Are you going to put it back in? You know, because a lot of times what happens is we make money, and then we want to run off to the mall and buy something new, you know. Uh, that was just a quick little joke there, but anyway. So the, the the point was, you know, keep putting what you're earning back in because as you're earning, you're learning. As you're learning, you're scaling, and then man, it, it pretty much just opens up the sea of opportunity. And then he said he has the uh, bonus course as far as list building, which you ladies and gentlemen again know that I am a huge advocate of list building more than likely you received an email which is how you ended up on this particular webinar training so um, anything else um, uh, it, well if anybody has any more questions go ahead and put those in anything else uh, joy that you wanted to add that maybe you know like uh, people probably have a question about you know just from your personal experience in, in, in doing various CPA courses as well as you know you running your private mastermind groups uh, no, I don't really have anything else to add, really, uh, aside from, you know, just, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are concerned about, you know, they see these big numbers and they, the first question they ask, how much do I have to spend? And uh, I, I totally respect that and I understand it and that's exactly uh, what I do as well. And I, I don't go into a campaign and, and start spending hundreds, hundreds and hundreds a day, right? Uh, every campaign I start, I start small and then I build it. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't convert uh, within a certain amount of spend, then I move on. So I mean, you know, it's just uh, that's the biggest thing. It's the, it's the fear factor, right? You just got to get over that and, and understand that the money is there. I showed the numbers, uh, but at the same time, you got to be smart about it. Set your budget and consider it, you know, learning curve when you when you lose. But try and lose as much as I mean, try and lose as little as you can. And uh, I respect the fact that you know you, you have to set your budget, and a lot of these places will have a minimum. But when when it says minimum, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to spend that in the day, and, and, and it basically just means you have to put that money in. Uh, so a lot of people are scared, like uh, when they go to places like Site Scout. There's a big traffic source right there for you. Drop another bomb for you, Jock. Site Scout, big site. You can buy traffic. 
Uh, it, but the problem is it's $500 minimum to join, right? Um, but, the, but most people don't know it that you can go in there and spend your $500, or no, you put your $500 in to join, and the next day you can refund it if you want. They're very clear on that. Like, So it's not like you have to spend $500 on a campaign to test it. You put your $500 in, and then you can turn around tomorrow and spend $3 on the campaign and say, oh, okay, I quit. See you later. But I'm not saying quit, right? Try it. Right. And, and see what happens. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. So don't get scared about the minimum deposits. A lot of these traffic sources out there, if you're going to pay for traffic, will give you your money back if you don't spend it all. Okay, so uh, spell that particular website for me. Site Scout. S I T E S C O U T dot com. Excellent. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, see, that's why you always stay to the end because, okay. hey, when, when you ask questions and, you, you, you know, I always tell you guys, hey, you can pull a lot out by asking questions. And Joy just dropped another golden nugget for us there. So that's sitescout.com. Uh, some of you may not be ready for that particular type of deposit yet, but trust me when I tell you, you can work your way there. You can get there. You can get there. Totally cool. Totally cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send everybody because I see uh, here uh, some of you still asking for the link. Um, I thought we had it, but anyway, I'll send it to you one last time. You should be able to see it right there on the screen, jacquetmorris.com forward slash CPA display. I just sent that over to everybody uh, once again in the chat box. You ladies and gentlemen, as always, are totally awesome. You're total rock stars, and man, man, we still have a good man. We still have like 60% of our audience is uh, still here. So cool. Uh, kudos to you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Joy, any last parting words? Any last parting words before we close it out, my friend? No, sir. That's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Excellent, excellent. Well, I tell you what, man. I'm super excited, super stoked about this. Truly appreciate. You know, you're taking the time away from your schedule, time away from your family. I think I even heard the dog barking, so, you know, the dog is probably like, yo, Joey, man, can can we get back to man's best friend here? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, like I said, awesome content, man. Getting, um, Ladies and gentlemen, do you guys have any last words that you want to say uh, to Joey? You know, any words of appreciation? Again, he bought out time in his schedule, come out here, and whether you got the course or not, you still receive some excellent, excellent, excellent content. Any parting words? How much did you appreciate what Joy shared with you this evening? Okay. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome big time. Awesome big time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, already ordered. I'm in. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, okay, excellent, man. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's see here. Um, Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Okay, so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, um, okay, I, I see, let, let's see, this is the last one here. Uh, somebody asked, how long is this offer available? Um, at, at this particular price point, which you are not going to be able to uh, beat this price point with a 10-foot pole, like I, I'm still kind of baffled at why they even put the price point at 20 at twenty four well twenty seven ninety five and then a three dollar discount code. I mean, I would be straightforward with you. Like the front end product, at minimum ninety seven dollars. That's the minimum. You know, this guy oh, is actually, actually, it is. yeah. I'm like, yeah. hold on. He earned what four hundred fifty thousand in six months. And uh, yeah, but anyway, you know, again, it is what it is. Um, th th this is the launch of this particular course. It actually just opened up today. And it's only going to be available at this particular price for a few days. So if I were you, I would get it ASAP. Go ahead, um, Joy. Did you have something? Oh, I was just going to say that uh, it is actually going to be going up uh, within a week. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, you're right. It is. Uh, we're just doing this for a short period of time. And then, uh, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks again. But, yeah, it will be going up. And it will probably be closed uh, even uh, a few days after that. Excellent, excellent. Uh, somebody said, well, is there going to be a replay? We're going to try to get a replay out to everybody ASAP. And, yeah, yep, that's what we're going to do. So I don't have anything else. Uh, Joy doesn't have anything else. Again, appreciate all you ladies and gentlemen for buying out time from your busy schedules, coming out here, and, again, just seeing another way that you can actually take CPA to the next level as well as, you know, increase 
your own financial stability and grow your income because there, man, there's so many different ways you can make money online that, man, sometimes I'm just like shaking my head because it's time to get paid to watch football, baby. Joy, thank you again, my friend. Yeah. Thank you again, and uh, de definitely looking forward, you know, to keeping up with your progress. And I'm sure, you know, we'll be connecting again in the very near future. Awesome! Thank you very much. All right, have, have a, a great night. evening, ladies and gentlemen, and we will see you next time.